Hi guys, and welcome to a very rare video, of course, for Meerkat Musings. I am your host, Ben, uh, aka Daft Moan in most circles, uh, as it were. And this video, well, it's done whilst under lockdown. If you have been following the news, well, basically, if you haven't been living in a hole in the ground for the past few weeks and you'll be aware about sort of the coronavirus and all that kind of stuff here in the uk we're in the middle of a lockdown for at least three weeks we're about one and a half weeks in now so halfway there but of course depending on circumstances that might get extended don't know playing the waiting game i'm currently furlonged from work so i am on um 80% pay, which isn't too bad to be fair, but the main thing is boredom. I just feel like I'm in the way a little bit sometimes at home, and it's a case of trying to fill the time, naturally some time with the wife and daughter, obviously, some exercising, in fact I've just done some exercising, and just other bits and pieces really, trying to do some creative writing, trying to do these videos as well. And some other bits and pieces, really. I've been doing some artwork, which is on the website. I apologise in advance, because some of it's pretty scary. <laughs> and just trying to stay busy, trying to occupy the time. And this video is one way of doing that. I'm going to talk a little bit about some some rather weird dreams that I've had over the past, well, a few months. A few years, maybe, I guess. Because there seems to be a recurring thing, namely the theme of zombies. Ooh, I know. Weirdly, I don't tend to watch shows like The Walking Dead and that kind of thing, mostly because, to be to be blunt here, I find those kind of shows to be a bit boring. But for some reason, zombies are a recurring theme in my dreams. Case in point, I had a dream, I think it was, it was quite a while ago now actually, but it stuck with me regarding being... Abroad, I was actually in in the dream. I was in Spain uh, for whatever reason, and there was suddenly this this zombie outbreak, as there is. And I vividly recall one part of the dream where I was getting onto a plane, and I think I had to try and fly the plane like a big jumbo jet type thing because naturally it's one of my many skills. And zombies broke in, and to put it bluntly, they killed me and they ate me. Yeah, very cheerful. But then the dream reset itself. For lack of a better word, I had a do-over. Where this time we were able to keep the zombies out of the plane and successfully take off and fly home. So that's one zombie dream. I had another one a few weeks ago where I was on the train with my family, uh, with my wife and daughter, and there was mass panic because there was a horde of zombies up one end of the train that were trying to come forward through the train, and we're trying to keep ahead of them. Uh, again, no, I brought that on at all. Just it was a normal dream, and then zombies. And last night, again, uh, just briefly, for whatever reason, there was a, a moment in a dream where I was in, I was in like this this share door or hobby room, and I was talking to some guy about a model railway set. And the next thing I know, his I don't know partner, apprentice, whoever, was being eaten by zombies, but in like a cartoon kind of style. So yeah, weird, strange. And a recurring theme in my subconscious for some reason. In fact, I've had a few dreams which could be described as, as horror dreams, really. I mean, there was one in some kind of abandoned warehouse setting involving creepy clowns. One of whom, and I remember in the dream, remember it quite well, was a bit like Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. No idea why. No idea why horror dreams are a recurring theme uh, in my subconscious, but there you go. It is weird because I don't, as I say, watch that kind of thing. I've never seen things like World War Z. I've seen The Walking Dead because my wife watches it, but I don't really follow it too closely. So why zombies keep coming up in my subconscious, I do not know. And if you know the answer, then please uh, drop me a line, send me a postcard, do something to tell me, because I'm baffled by this, I really am. Just scary dreams in general. I just keep having them. I don't know why. I don't feel particularly scared or afraid in the current circumstances. It is mostly just boredom. And just a feeling of waiting. There's a bit of anxiety because we don't know what's going to happen. 
we have no idea if this lockdown is going to be extended. Are we going to be going from three weeks to six weeks of this kind of thing? Eventually, life has to return to normal. But then again, what's normal? Will there be a different version of that when this is all over? It's hard to say. It's very hard to say. There's lots of uncertainty in the world right now. So the important thing that we can do, all of us, is to be there for each other, to check in on each other, make sure we're all doing well, to be kind to one another. All the stuff that you see about the hoarding and stuff that's just been going on, hopefully by now we're, we're beyond that, but that kind of thing, if it's still going on anywhere, can't be allowed to continue because it's just selfish. And we just have to be good to each other. And we have to try and make the best thing. So that means having a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke. Finding outlets for our restless energy. Be that in the form of, of stories. Be that in the form of art, of singing, of dancing. Of making silly videos to share with friends. Playing video games. Going for that occasional walk you're allowed to do. And just getting some fresh air. Do whatever you need to do. But the most important thing to do in all of this is to stay safe and to look after each other.